first off, uh, don't mind the noise, the fans on because the UK, the UK weather is really hot at the moment. So yeah, so but without further ado, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and everything. I want to try to get to do more co uh, content. If this video gets a lot of likes, thumbs ups as well. Uh, I want to try and post more content on this channel and do a lot more videos while the lockdown is still in place and try to build up the channel a little bit more, not just posting a video once a day. day because of YouTube algorithm, it's better trying to get a video actually up every day and try to do some form of everything. Uh, but first off, let's talk about chapter 179 of The Promise Never Lands. So without further ado, like always, let's three, two, one, hit the intro. Okay, so this chapter, chapter 179, actually opens up with a color page of Philip and everybody landing on a, on a beach, beach and everything like that, and... Then we get to the main opening page, uh, what is the actual title of the chapter, chapter seven, 179, Compen Compensation, and then we get to the uh, page, um, or page with Philip waking everybody up saying that we're there in the human world, and looking at all these buildings, and everything like that, and then they're wondering where Emma is because Emma's not with them. What, they don't know where she's landed or where if she's dead or whatnot. She doesn't know. No. So we're continuing looking and everything. And then a weird triangular like hoverboard ship shows up. And well, this guy gets, uh, gets, comes about and uh, is introduced as Mike Rattery, the P Peter's uncle and currently the proxy head of the Rattery clan. Clan code solid i already know i'm not and not your enemy our clan will no longer harm you children so the clan's already been announced and already been told that the promise has changed and the children that are appearing now with numbers on their necks and stuff are are pretty much not their enemy and they're not going to attack them anymore so they know that the situation is now different then we get like news re reports and stuff of other mysterious children showing up with numbers and markings on their necks and stomachs. So pretty much the human world don't really know what happened. The, the, the human world was left in the dark of the old promise and does not know this history of what actually went on a thousand years ago with this promise. And... M Mike is making sure that the other children are secured and everything like that wherever they showed up because uh, showed up and making sure where everything is and and stuff like that so pretty much they all came to be and they are then told Then they go about about how Emma wouldn't do this or anything like that. And it also goes to a bit of a narration of the little bit of the history of the current world that we're living, that they're in. Because the current they land in the North America branch of the Ratu clan. So the, so, so, the, so the human world did have North America, Japan and all that. But it goes on with saying that that they were found in the former United States of America because of, because later on we learn that there is no nations anymore there is no countries it's all one big nation because uh, the east side of the region now called area 1 and they're split into areas because they're one nation now they're just in areas areas because they apparently were abnormal weathers, natural disasters, epi epidemics, and food shortages, and a world war erupted at least for 10 years. With so many lives lost and the system broken, the world changed drastically, only caring about yourself 
yourself at the expense of others would no longer work. So pretty much due to all this, caring about yourself, like, like say, like a lot of people pretty much, like some people don't really care about others. They just want to do everything and make sure you're okay and everything like that. After these like events that happen in this world, they, uh, they had to start thinking about others, think about other people, thinking about everything that is going on in, in the lives of others and themselves and helping others as well just to survive and that's how the uh and that's how the system broke broken and the world has changed drastically drastically and that's why nation national borders were abolished the world became one large nation there are still many challenges but humanity was finally started to move forward we're in the midst of a reconstruction so yeah, so with that little brief hit, we get a brief glimpse of what actually happened during these years, during what they've learned within the books within Gracefield of up to 2015. 15, but we also learned that this is different. This has changed so much that, that, that there's no need and that they were lucky. But so all the kids saying, one of the kids saying we're not lucky, but and Philip is just wor worried, curious, shocked, wondering if is Emma dead, and everything. And then they all talk about that if it was one of them that done this, that Emma done, Emma wouldn't wouldn't stop and wonder. They would look for what Emma, and they will find her. And they continue looking, talking about all the events and possibly and things that she's done, that she achieved to save everybody, and everything like that. And just continued on and on and then they all decided let's play one big game of hide and seek and find Emma and when I find when they find her they're gonna give her some of them are gonna give her a big hug and do their crazy and then they're just gonna go on and then we end with the page of Norman Ray Emma lying on the ground I don't know in what area it looks like a snowy area yeah it looks like snow snow just laying there on the ground. So for some reason, unlike all the other kids, she ended up somewhere else and we do not know where that is. And that is where chapter 8 is going to come in. So hopefully, this series hopefully ends on 200 chapters. I'm hoping we got 10 more chapters or 20 more chapters to go. But obviously I can see it ending with them finding Emma. I think the now the... Uh, this next arc that I'm calling it now, they are at the human world. They have reached their destination of the human world. They've learned what's going on in the human world and everything like that. And this is what? Sorry about that. This is what's happening now. So yeah, so that is pretty much what's happening. And that is pretty much what's going on. So they're going to find Emma. So it's now going to be find and rescue Emma arc. I'm going to, that's what I'm going to call it. The find and rescue or find and the search for Emma arc or whatever. I'm just going to call it that. It's probably going to be a mini arc. because they're going to go look around as much as possible to find her. Because we don't know what Emma's at, where Emma is at this moment in time. And what she's actually got planned or is actually planning on doing doing but that is pretty much it otherwise this chapter was really great i love the color page opening i love how i loved all the reminiscing of how emma acted in these pages how all the kids reacted to the sudden shock of emma's disappearance i like how norman and ray are mad in a sense because of a compensation but have a feeling that that shouldn't be the case as well uh, and she didn't lie. She just probably landed somewhere, but we don't know where. Where because now that this world has changed dra dramatically to the point where, where they're in New York or they're in America, but they're not really in America anymore because that doesn't exist in this timeline or in that time period. So they're in a sense of a world where everything's been abolished and everything's just been gone and everything like that. So. It just seems weird that it's it's gone to be that way. But other than that, 
I really like the art in this chapter. I love the color pages, like I said. The, the, um, the story in this chapter really showed up. I really do like it. Like and everything like that. Try and keep this video, uh, give this a thumbs up. It will go a long way. It will spread my videos as much as possible as well. Uh, hopefully it will uh, help uh, help spread uh, my channel a little bit more as well. Try to give as much likes as possible. Possible possible as well but this has been a great chapter i really did like it uh, like it the chapter was phenomenal i think very uh like emotional you could really tell the emotions that everybody was having because of emma not being there and that's pretty much what i wanted within i was hoping for this chapter definitely the way it ended last week with this week's chapter i'm really glad that we're able to Managed to get it going into a way that I'm really glad. I'm glad the Raspberry Clan ain't really the enemies, but at the same time, I'm not 100% with Mike at the Mike Rattery at the moment because I don't like. Uh, he seems a bit fishy, but only time will tell about how far this arc will go and see what's going to happen later on. On because obviously, and we don't know how time works within. The demon world and human world so we don't even know how long uh pia raspberry has been in the demon world and how much time actually has passed between them between them so there's that also to take in consideration but other than that i really like this chapter i really did enjoy this chapter it was really great like i keep on mentioning comment down below what you liked and didn't like down in the comment sections down below just and give me your thoughts on the chapter do you like it do you not like it just leave your thoughts down in the comment section down below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and try to give it a loads of thumbs up and i'll try and do more content because i am thinking about bringing back my reaction videos i am going to try and finish season two of my german op anime opening reactions uh, with uh, Digimon at the moment, so I'm going to check out where I was with Season 2 and see where I was with those openings, and then I'll be going to the next se season, what probably will be uh, anime openings that probably only had one opening and was used throughout the uh, entirety of the show's airing, but we'll find that out later on anyway, and what I've decided to do because I have ideas of what I want to do next for the next season of those reactions and it's a series that I've enjoyed but other than that I'm rambling and I'll do that rambling in the end card a little bit better so yeah so please like I said give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you liked and didn't like about this chapter down in the video just uh, down in the comment sections down below and I'll say next time I've been your host Kai from Kaiser Tick but for now see ya Hey guys, great chapter again, wasn't it? Very great, like I mentioned in the end of that video, before I, before I rambled on, I really did enjoy it and everything. Hopefully you guys as well did. If you're new to the channel, then why don't you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification bell and turn it on and off just to make sure that you keep notified with all my videos. And also, if you like the video and you're a current subscriber and you like the video, then give it a thumbs up. A th thumbs up goes a long way as well on this channel as well. So don't forget to do that. And also, why don't you check out my other channels that I have, like my Geek Corner or my uh, Transformer Corner, where I try to do some Transformer reviews. By this moment of time, the uh, situation has changed. Uh, that channel is going to be on hiatus for quite some time at this moment in time. Uh, the Transformer channel. Anyway, not the Geek Corner channel. I can try and get some videos up on there. But, uh, but, those, uh, but whatever appears on this side, is it that side or is it this side? probably be on this side not that yeah this side then check those out oh uh whatever appears on screen also you can find in the video description links to my patreon i'm going to be going on there briefly to try and figure out uh how to change everything just to make it a little bit more better for people to understand and stuff like that and uh, and everything and i'm thinking about starting to do audiobook readings or fan fiction that i wrote just so people could get i uh, get feedback from other people and stuff like that just so that i could then continue doing it in multi parts but that but i might do a complete uh channel update video and plans update for that later on at down the line when i can but other than that that don't forget to check out what's ever appearing on the other sides and stuff like that. And I'll, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.
See ya.